everyone and welcome back to time with Lydia the pharmacist happy new year to you all I pray that 2023 will be the best year ever for all of us thank you all so much for the overwhelming support throughout 2022 I appreciate you all very much you know, 2022 was an amazing year for time with Lydia, the pharmacist. And I'm sure 2023 is going to be even better. We are going to grow and will become better on this channel. And there's a lot of interesting videos that I have lined up for the year. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you are always on the alert and your notification bell is on. If you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of the interesting videos that are coming. Also, I want to say a big thank you to all our new subscribers. You're welcome to the community. Thank you so much for all the support. Now that we are in 2023, I'm sure you have thought about some things that you want to start doing, some things that you want to get better at, and some things that probably you want to stop doing. And I'm sure some of us have gone ahead to actually write these things down so we don't forget and also we'll have the chance to review them as the year goes by. You know, I've been wondering whether you have thought about some health resolutions as well. I have and I thought I would share with you some health and wellness resolutions that you can make in 2023 so as to lead a healthy and a more fulfilling life as the saying goes health as well if you're healthy you are able to achieve a lot i'm not here to tell you to do a or b but think about these things and see which one will be easier and more reasonable for you to do throughout 2023 so you can lead a more happier and fulfilling life the six health resolutions i'm going to be talking about you don't want to miss the last point so please do stay around till the end of the video so the first health resolution that you can make a schedule regular checkup think about when the right moment would be to schedule all those annual appointments that you have been putting off for some years now for example when was the last time you had a dental checkup if you're over 40 years when was the last time you had your blood pressure checked how about a visit to your gynecologist if you have reproductive health challenges what about a dermatologist a diabetes check at your doctor's office a visit to your community pharmacy to join the smoking cessation program if you're somebody who smokes add these visits onto your calendar make the calls and you'll be doing yourself a tremendous favor not to mention that your 2023 resolution list will be shorter by one goal within a matter of minutes so long as you honor those appointments 2023 health and wellness resolution number two build up your stress resilience one of the best things you can do for your mental and physical well-being is to learn how to better cope with stress triggers we can all agree that it's impossible to eliminate stress completely so why not learn how to manage stressful situations better for example you can set up dedicated work breaks to do something healthy for yourself be it your healthy meal a walk or to listen to your favorite music breaks are essential for your mental health also you can try a self-care routine that will help you relax such as a weekly massage, yoga, some simple stretching exercises at home, meditation, or taking a bubble bath. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed with life issues, work issues, and we find it really hard to cope. And in such instances, you can ask for help. If you find it too difficult to deal with your issues on your own, speaking with a mental health professional can be a great way to expand your support system and to get better at managing stress. Take time for healthy connection because prioritizing your mental health also means spending quality time with people you love. This kind of socializing will also give you 
a new perspective reminding you of all the things that truly matter when you're facing stressful situations. 2023 health and well-being resolution number three, increase your daily movement. Invest more time in movements that you enjoy, like walking, running, and yoga. And you know, you can start this slowly. You can start by taking a five minutes walk on your street or just around your building. You can take a walk to the next street the next day. That would make it probably 10 minutes a day. And as time goes on, you can take a walk to work. If your work is closer, you can take a walk to the town center. And as much as possible, your aim should be to do at least 30 minutes of exercise every day. This would improve your physical health and your mental health as well. Staying active increases serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone in your brain. 2023 health and wellness resolution number four, drink more water. Staying hydrated not only helps with appetite regulation, but also supports healthy skin, immunity, digestion, and other bodily functions. One of the best ways to increase your hydration intake is to get a new water bottle or keep a time log of your drinks. Each person's water needs are different, but a general rule of thumb is to aim for at least two liters of fluid a day. Make sure you're hydrated enough by looking at your urine's color. It should always be pale yellow. If your urine gets darker, then it means you're not taking in enough fluids, especially water. 2023 health and wellness resolution number five. Reduce your screen time. This point can be a bit tricky, especially if you're a YouTuber like myself. You're on your laptop or your phone reading, making research so you can have more ideas for videos, watching other YouTubers like yourself for some inspiration, supporting other YouTubers. But you know, reducing your screen time has a lot of advantages to your health. By cutting down on your screen time, using various devices such as your phone, your computer, your tablet, and your TV can lead to a chain of positive reactions that would lead to you enjoying a better health in 2023. For starters, set aside your phone more often. You would have more opportunities to connect with the people around you. You also find that you have much more time to get active. That is walk your dog, tidy up your rooms, do some redecorating, prepare meals for a few days in advance to make sure you eat healthy and so much more. You will also save countless hours for other activities and you will take a step back from all the dark and bleak news that somehow always find their way to our news feed. It will help you reduce stress, improve your activity levels, and dramatically boost your quality of sleep. A single habit can make a huge change. And last but not the least, 2023 health and wellness resolution number six. This happens to be my favorite and it's one of the things that I'm going to be practicing every single day of 2023. Commit to a gratitude practice. Recognizing what makes you feel grateful can profoundly help with stress and anxiety levels. Take some time every day to Think about what makes you grateful and then write these down on an app, in your diary or your journal. You can read the list whenever you need to boost your mood. Be thankful for the little things. Let gratitude be your attitude. This will brighten up your life and give you a better outlook towards life. 2023 is going to be a very good year and I pray that you would add some of these health and wellness resolutions to the resolutions that you've already thought about or to the ones that you have already written down. Thank you so much for your time today. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, share with your family and friends 
and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos leave a comment in the comment section tell me what your health resolutions are for 2023 thank you once again for your time today and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye for now